Hey guys, I made another video. Everybody kept wanting me to do lose your virginity or how you got in your fight. But I can't post on how I got in a fight because I was on probation for like two years. And if I were to post something like that, like if they were to come on YouTube and find it, or if my video starts to pop off or whatever, I could get in big trouble for talking about getting in a fight with that girl because I really hurt her. <laughs> anyway, um, this story is going to be about how my mom and her boyfriend broke up and he left us out in Arizona by ourselves. So one day my mom left and she packed all her stuff. She was like, I'm going to Michigan to get us a house. She was going to get us a house out in Michigan and then we were supposed to move out there. And then um, she went out there or whatever. And every day me and my sister just heard our parents going back and forth on the phone arguing about something. Like, why are you arguing with somebody and he's in a whole other state with us? Supposedly she cheated on him. Well, I'm not gonna say all that. Cause... So her and him had whatever they had going on and it upset him. And so he wanted to leave. And so he packed all his stuff. He packed my little sister Mose's stuff. And they left. And me and my sister Nautica woke up and everybody was gone. Well, just them two. And we were confused. So we called their mom. We were like, Rob's gone. All their stuff is gone. We didn't know what was going on. At the time I was seven, I really didn't know what was going on. And then she was 14. And so we're freaking out. We go to our downstairs neighbor, Donna. We're asking her if she knew. Nobody knew. We come to the conclusion that he left and he kidnapped my little sister, Mose. We uh, ended up having to pack all our stuff because we couldn't pay for the rent because we were young. We can't pay for rent. CPS worker who was downstairs, her name was Helen. And we lived with her for a little bit until my dad sent us a plane ticket to come all the way back here. And so my dad sent us our plane ticket or whatever. We got on the plane. It took not that long. I can't remember how many hours it was. Like I said, I was like seven. We got here or whatever. We were sitting in the airport for a little bit. We didn't know who was picking us up. We didn't have no internet or nothing. We had bootlegged old phones. iPhones back then were late. We get there or whatever. Um, my aunt Tara, at the time, my mom's best friend, but they're not best friends no more, came and picked us up. We stayed at her house for a little bit till my mom came there and apologized or whatever. We lived with Tara for a little bit because we didn't have nowhere to stay. And then one day we went to dinner with my stepdad, Roy. And then we seen that they were talking, obviously, so we seen my mom was in a whole nother relationship. We got left in a whole nother state by a guy, and now she's with a whole nother guy. And we just wasn't expecting all that. Then we ended up moving in with Roy, and he had two sons. We moved in with him. And I think Nautica sometimes slept on the couch or Isaac and Sammy would sleep on the top bunk and then me and Nautica would be on the bottom. And then Mo came back because my mom figured out, flew her back out here. Three of us on one bunk bed, the bottom. It was horrible, never again. We were in Arizona, got left, took a plane, made it back to Michigan and here today. But I was seven and this is like, I'm 15. About to be 16, so it was years ago. But there was also some questions that people had asked. So I'm just gonna throw that in here. Do you feel me? Here's one question. Who's a really pretty dark skinned girl you know? There's a lot of dark skins that are pretty. Dark skins are beautiful. I would say my friend Amber. She's really pretty. She has my mom's name. But she's really pretty. She's really pretty. Which one of your piercings hurt the most? So if you don't know, I have nine piercings. Nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, this one was bleeding and it was it hurt to like move it back and forth. And then these I got done with a gun. My friend Anaisa did it with a gun. And then she did my second piercings with a hot needle. And then I got this professionally done. I got this professionally done. And then she did my belly ring too. I almost fainted when I got my belly ring. I had to sit by the freaking air conditioning. I almost fainted. Everything started ringing, everything. Oh, I can't even explain that feeling. It didn't hurt. It was just like shocking to have a needle through your stomach. I used to have a hernia when I was younger. I had a surgery. So I don't know if like, I was poking anything in there, but it's just a little bit of skin. So I don't think it was touching nothing. But I'll say this one. And then sleeping on this one. Sleeping on that one. When I first got it, I could not sleep on it. I had to sleep on this side, and I sleep on this side. 
I can't lay on my back or my stomach. And I had just got that done. So I was literally on one side all night. Um, and those are just a couple questions. And that was it for today. Like this video and share it or subscribe and hit that bell. Ding, ding. So, yeah, that was all for today.